Hi, Tim. I'm Rhonda. Rhonda, is this your first time being here? Yeah. Okay. How did you having fun? Yes. I'm almost 43. Not, never been married. What about you? I've been married. No kids. No kids? Uh, 47. Oh, wow, so, you look great. Thank you. What's your skincare routine? I actually don't have one. Oh, my God. Just watch. Hey, you, you're doing good. Well, Ronnie, it was a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to season 2 of 90 Day The Single Life. So today we're going to be talking about, oh my gosh, did I say season 2? I mean episode 2, 90 Day The Single Life. We're going to be talking about Chantel and Veronica. So Chantel and her friends are going to a wine tasting and the tour guide is big, okay? He looks like he should be a personal trainer, not a tour guide, but they were definitely right about the grease man because this guy is Fine. Anyway, Chantel finds out that they're actually going to make olive oil or was it wine? I don't remember. When Destiny told me that she booked an olive chateau, I thought that they were going to serve us wine and we were going to be daintily trying, sampling different olives. Push, 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 push ladies. Push, push, push with the cut. Get going. Push, 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 get going. But Destiny did a great job booking this activity and we see that Chantel looks like she's having a lot of fun Her tour guy looks like he's having a lot of fun. I am NOT having a lot of fun, but yay fun 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 So the tour guide George says that they can go dance later at this club Everybody gets excited for that now They're on their way to meet their hot sexy personal trainer I mean tour guide George to a club and this is where we meet his friend Giannis and he is very cute Okay, he is fine and if she don't want him I'll take him. I do not mind. Okay? Thank you. Bye. So they're taking shots and they look like they're having a great time. The producers ask Giannis what he thinks of an American woman. He says they're a lot of fun to be with and they dance crazy. Like, you don't gotta tell us twice. The girls ask Giannis if he ever been to the US and he said no, he never got the chance but he wants to. So I have a question. If Chantel and him actually work out and he turns out to be like the love of her life and is actually a great guy, would she be able to help him apply for a K-1 visa? Or would they say no because she already did one before and that one failed so they don't want her to apply to another one because it might start looking like a fraudulent? I don't know. But most importantly, what would her mom say? Because you guys remember um, in the previous episode, her mom said, You better not bring anybody back here that needs another K-1 visa, and I mean it. The mom is more scary than the government at this point. Anyways, I'm yapping too much, but they're very into each other, and he likes what he sees. Unlike Adonis, I can't stand that guy. Oh my goodness. So they go off and get some drinks, and they get to know each other. We learned that he lived in London for three years and played football. <laughs> football okay sorry i'm not funny so he played football there and chatel asked him if he's ever been married and he's like no never and he's like have you and she nods but he calmly says okay she said it's long gone and so far behind her and he doesn't really seem to have a problem with it which is good because chantelle i would never bring that up if i was you like never i would wait until he puts the ring on my finger while we're at the altar before i whisper in his ear by the way you're my second husband okay or better yet i just wouldn't tell him at all unless okay unless he asks but also how would he know he would not know unless somebody told him. So, so unnecessary. Don't do that again. So they go back to dancing and she gives him her number. Okay, here, let me give you my number. Yeah, all right, all right. Thank okay. you. Okay. See you later. We'll see you Let's go. Tonight was a good night. I'm surprised that I met somebody who I'm interested in getting to know better. So that's where it kind of ends off in this episode. I really like Chantel and Giannis. If they don't work out, I'll take him. And I'm tempted to spoil it for myself to like look up on social media if they're still together or not. But I'll hold back for now, okay? Okay, so let's move on to Veronica. So let's do a little quick backstory on Veronica. So she got married at 20 to her daughter Chloe's father. But they broke up before Chloe was born. Then she met Tam and they were together for 7 years. And he was even like a parent to Chloe. But then they realized that they were just better off as friends and after eight years she then meets Justin and I didn't really watch her seasons but I saw some clips Justin definitely acted like an a-ho and I felt really bad for Veronica but after Justin she posted a video on social media some random ass bum texted her just kidding that was Jamal <laughs> 
Okay, okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Okay, so Jamal texted her, and Veronica thought Jamal was sexy when she first saw him, but all I saw was Kimberly, okay? And I know, I know, that's because that's her son, but still, it's like a copy and paste between those two. And there's also like a 10-year age gap between them, but also they revealed in their tell-all that they were in a situationship and they were not exclusive. Are you two having sex with other people? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I actually can't believe that you're lowering yourself to that. Okay. I'm not a big fan of Tim, but I did feel like Veronica was more into the relationship than Jamal, and she wanted to be exclusive. I could be totally wrong, though. I don't know. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Okay, now back to the present, okay? Thank you. So now they finally decided to stop being in a situationship and decided to give being exclusive a try. And so far, so good. They have both been t taking turns traveling to see each other. Veronica is worried about what the future holds because he's not a great communicator. And to make a relationship work, you need good communication skills, okay? I wouldn't know though because I like to just ghost and block people. But other people, take it from me, be good at communicating or else you'll be single and lonely at i'm almost 23 at 23 okay good though i feel like we always get along we're together it's just yeah. like the second you leave you suck at communication mm. jamal you don't you could be a little text back fast enough you don't text back at all i do text back like the next day i don't think we have to talk like 24 7. because then it's like what are we going to keep talking about like i'm not going to like work what are you doing you all day to death i know but like It'd be nice to like know what's happening in your life. So I'm kind of seeing where both of them are coming from. I either text back all day, every day, or forget to respond altogether, and it's been a few months, and I have to like make an excuse. Anyways, Jamal says that he is more of a face-to-face -face type of person, and I don't really buy it because you guys are long distance, okay? You guys only see each other every once in a while, so you need to get used to texting and calling if you're in a relationship. If this was a situation, I would get him not texting back or calling her, but this is an exclusive relationship now, okay? You need to start having real communication with your girlfriend like what sorry yapping again so they were able to make up and veronica just dropped off jamal at the airport so he can go back to san diego and i would see tim and veronica driving to a singles event last time i checked veronica wasn't single and tim asked her if jamal knew or was okay with her going with him did you tell jamal you were going he was cool with you going to a singles event with me i did tell him that it would be in his best interest for you to find someone so that you're happy because when you're happy yeah then everyone can be happy so that was a no so tim was talking about jamal living at home with no job veronica kind of snaps back at him saying that tim dates all the time with women who have no job and live at home then tim says well that's because guys don't really care about that stuff so it's okay for you to date an unemployed girl who lives at home who's 21 but it's not okay for me to date an unemployed boy who because lives at home i'm willing to take care of her you're not willing to take care of him no, but I'm... Yeah, exactly, so that's what makes it But he's not asking you to take fair. care of him. Well, not yet. I'm kind of shocked that Jamal doesn't have a job. Nobody's telling you to go out there and make it big and be like a CEO or a coder or an engineer or the hardest job to ever get into target but he could do something simple like working at walmart or hell even during doordash it's just something is better than nothing so they go to the singles event and i gotta say it looks very overwhelming okay tyre will not survive so not gonna lie tim is actually very good at mingling i want to go to a singles event but i might end up awkward laughing into a corner i want him to go home early it's just i'm not social Tim then bumps into a woman he knows named Louisa. They talked years ago on social media but never got a chance to meet in person. All I'm thinking is how does he still remember her? Because there are people I've sat right next to in college for like 6 months straight and I still wouldn't recognize them if I walked past them in the middle of the street. So Veronica and Tim have a good connection but I just want to know how in the world does Tim bag these beautiful women? Like what is his secret? We all know he can't keep them long but he also has no trouble getting them. Seeing Louisa, I mean, like, she's perfect. I mean, I think she is way out of my league. Okay, so he knows. So Veronica and Tim talk about what he needs to be good at, and they can only come up with, like, him being better at communication. And other than that, he's just perfect. I'm pretty close to being perfect. Yeah. You know, I got a couple things that I need you. to remember. When I think of Tim, that's the first perfect thing that comes partner. to mind. Perfect yeah, me partner. Too. Yeah, and that's what life is literally saying to uh -huh. me. 43 and I'm married. <laughs> so the secret is now out. <laughs> that's how Tim 
gets the ladies i guess i i still don't understand but okay so that's the end of this recap i'm gonna do natalie and tyree tomorrow please like and subscribe and comment thanks for watching bye